Welcome back to another episode of BSPN. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when these episodes go live. And today's topic, the 2022 Olympia qualification system. It's out now. So what does it mean? If you'd like to work with me, suitsimposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits and posing, all the fun stuff when it comes to competing for women. We got another sponsor shout out for Cuties Cockney on the Stage. So we have a brand new sponsor this year and that's Epic Beauty. And that's Lizeth. And if you guys like my lashes, that's what she does. She does lashes, just permanent makeup, all those kinds of things. So she will be providing um, wonderful specials for you ladies that are coming into Cuties Cockney on the Stage if you would like to get your lashes done. So I know I'm one of those people that it took me a very long time to actually commit to the lash extension experience, but now that I have, I cannot live without them. <laughs> so um, I would like to say uh, welcome to Lizeth. She is a brand new sponsor for this year and she will be doing lash extensions on site. So like we said, this, this Cuties Conference, the stage weekend, it's all about you guys and you ladies just you know having a really great time and pampering yourself as well. So. If you'd like to take advantage of that, we'll be giving you a lot more information as we get closer. But like I said, she does mine. And these are two weeks old, actually a little bit more than two weeks. I gotta go in for a refill, refill uh, Tuesday. So yeah, welcome to Epic Beauty. All right, tonight we have some breaking news. Breaking news, you guys. Uh, I was just going to do a BSPN and preview our weekend shows. We are still going to do that. But we also got the 2022 Olympia qualification rules just came out. Now to get into the nitty gritty, which is the new qualification series. So if you guys are in front of your computers or whatever, as you're listening to this, go ahead and pull this up. This is the brand new qualification series just came out about an hour ago um, for this, this year's 2020 season qualification series. So I'm just going to read this out loud to you. And there are a lot of changes this year, a lot of changes this year. So listen up. You ready? You guys ready? Okay. All right. The IPB professional league, along with the Joe Weeders Olympia fitness and performance weekend is pleased to announce the 2022 Olympia qualification system. The 2022 Olympia qualification uh, system qualifies athletes for the 2022 Olympia. The qualification period starts on September 13th, 2021 and ends on November 20th, 2022. So it's already been going for a month. We know this already, right? But now we know that the ending is November 20th next year. So that, we, as we know, the Olympia is going to be in December this year. So that gives us an idea of when the cutoff. So this is an extended qualification series this year. Last year was shorter because the Olympia was in December last year. So the cutoff was sooner. It wasn't a full year. This year, it's more than a year. So that's pretty cool. With that comes some new rules. <laughs> so who qualifies and who doesn't? Ready? Okay. So as of September 13th, 2021, oh, I'm sorry, I missed a, missed a spot here. The Olympic qualification series awards points to competitors placing second through fifth. That's always been the case, right? Um, it's almost a curse for the athletes, right? Yes, you're right. Exactly. Hype is, hype can be a curse. hundred percent can be. Yep. Um, the top three athletes with the highest point totals at the end of the qualification period qualify to compete at the Olympia. So that's new. Typically, it's the top five in points. This year, it's the top three in points across the board for every division that qualifies for the Olympia. Okay, so if you were the fourth and fifth one with your points this past year, you wouldn't qualify this coming year. So this is new, okay? Um, ties are broken in favor of the athlete with the better placings. The tier levels are also taken into consideration. So now we know that. We were talking about this, we were speculating about this when we were talking about the last couple of shows this past season, who was gonna actually qualify and who wasn't. And if there was a tie in points, how are they gonna figure out who's actually gonna qualify and who's not, blah, blah, blah. Now we have an answer for this year, right? So they're taking the tier levels into account. The problem last year was there was no real tier levels for like bikini and uh, men's physique and things like that. So that has all changed. This has all changed this year. Okay. It's going back to tiers for everybody. Okay. Um, athletes are not moved up if a position becomes vacated. That's always been the case. Always been the case, right? 
LLC is true. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay. As of September 13th, 2021, only the division winner at the Europa Pro Championships and only the winner at each wellness contest qualifies for the 2022 Olympia. So um, they've done some random things before, like the Europa in Spain was top two, that kind of thing, top three in a couple of comp contests, things like that. So now they're saying that just the winners are going to qualify. And then this past year, also top two in every wellness uh, division, pro show qualified for Olympia. This year, it's going to be only the first place winner. So not top two, just first place. So that is also a change. A lot of this has changed, you guys. A lot of it has changed. Um, athletes who qualify for the 2021 Olympia but who could not compete due to COVID-related visa restrictions will receive five points towards the 2022 Olympia. That's, a, that's cool. That's a good little consolation prize. There were a few people that weren't able to get here um, due to restrictions and quarantining and things like that. Uh, so at least they've got some points going into this, right? Still would be in their best interest to keep competing and try and get a win because obviously only top three are qualifying now, so you can't rely on points. Get a win, you know, just so you know, but still. Not a bad, not a bad call. Nice little consolation prize there. All right. So let's get into who qualifies. The top five from the 2021 Mr. Olympia. So that means all the open men in the top five are now qualified for 2022. So Nick Walker and up, they're all qualified. All right. Not a bad deal. That's probably pretty exciting for those top five guys right now. All right. <laughs> so, you know, Brandon was already qualified, uh, but now you got Hottie and you've got um, uh, uh, Nick and Hunter qualified now, too. Um, top three from all other 2021 Olympia divisions. So, like I was saying before in the wellness show that's going on in San Antonio, Isabel Issa, she placed third in the Olympia. So, she is qualified for this coming year already she's already qualified top three so you know when you're looking at bikini now so ashley was already qualified she's a previous olympia winner by the way when you win the olympia you are qualified for life you don't ever have to compete again you can always get on the olympia stage that's why i said you know brandon in the open is already qualified because he's won the olympia before um ashley is already qualified because she's won the olympia before three times so now laura lee is qualified because she plays second so Laura Lee is now qualified for next year. She doesn't have to compete. She doesn't want to. That changes the game right there. I'll be interested to see if maybe she decides not to go into Iron Games, whatever she was deciding to go into in about a month. Hmm. Hmm. Wondering. Wondering. Um, the winner of each contest, obviously, that's always the case. You know, you win, you're in. Um, and top three in point standings. So... Again, if you placed in the top five in the points from the past couple of years, that's no longer good enough. Got to place top three. So go for a win, you guys. Go for a win. Or else you're going to be competing all year long. <laughs> competing all year long with those points. All right? Point standings. Now, this is different um, because now everybody gets more points based on the tiers of the shows that they're going into. This was not the case for divisions like bikini and men's physique and things like that in previous years. Now everybody's the same. As far as points is concerned, everybody gets different points based on the tiers. We've talked about these shows, some of these shows being tougher than others. This is now being reflected in the points, right? I'll ask on Saturday, I'm gonna call her and her boyfriend. It's blue blue camp Saturday morning. There you go. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. If I just found out I was qualified for next year, I'd probably be taking the year off. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so Olympia for all divisions except the 2021 Mr. Olympia, because obviously top five qualify, then fourth and fourth gets 12 points, fifth gets 11. So automatically we're looking at, you know, if we're looking at bikini, so uh, Issa has 11 points now. Maureen has 12 points now. Now, Issa's already qualified for life, so it doesn't matter, right? Um, and Maureen, I'm sure, will win a show. I, I'm sure we don't even have to worry about the points with her. She will win a show. She's won a, won a show every year, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, wellness, that means that Yurishna now has 12 points and Julia has 11. Um, talking about figure too 
this is helpful for figure because none of those girls in those top five were uh, qualified other than Sydney. So now they've all got a bunch of points or they're qualified. Like Stephanie is now qualified. Um, Natalia is now qualified. Um, uh, Jessica Reyes, she just qualified last year, or last year, last week, because she just won Kentucky Muscle, so points don't matter anyway. Again, most of these top five girls, they're going to qualify anyway. They don't need points. They're going to they're gonna win a show, basically. Um, tier one contests are Arnold Classic and Rising Phoenix. Rising Phoenix is just the female bodybuilders. It doesn't include the Arizona Pro. All the other divisions, all the other divisions in the, in the Rising Phoenix are considered the Arizona Pro. So they get, um, tier one gets more points. Second place gets 10, third place gets nine, fourth place gets eight, fifth place gets seven. Tier two contests. Um... So this is where you've got the other Arnold Classics. So the main Arnold Classic is the one here in the U United States, right? The other ones outside of the U.S. are considered Tier 2, okay? So the Arnold Classic Australia, Arnold Classic Brazil, Arnold Classic UK, and then you've got Pittsburgh Pro, New York Pro, Tampa Pro, Toronto Pro, J Japan Pro, that's a new one, and Europa Pro. That's a new one, too, on that Tier, tier 2 contests. Um, but they're getting more points for those shows. Okay, so for some reason, IG decided to not repost the last half of our live. So it cut off at the 25 minute mark. So I'm just gonna finish up basically what we were talking about with the tier system now coming out, the new Olympia Point qualification system. So we had cut off at about tier two here where we were talking about the Arnold Classic, Australia, Brazil and the UK, Pittsburgh Pro, New York Pro, Tampa Pro, Toronto, Japan, Europa, all being tier two, which means if you play second, third, fourth, fifth, second, you get eight points, third, you get seven, fourth, you get six, and fifth, you get fifth. Going on to tier three, these are your next tier down, which is going to be Chicago, Portugal, Romania, Muscle Fest Pro, which is coming up in less than a month, uh, the Legion Sports Fest, which is this weekend, and Puerto Rico Pro, so Puerto Rico Pro, so that is um, six points for second, third gets five points, fourth gets four points, fifth gets three points, and then the rest of the shows are all considered to be tier four contests, which are, as usual, uh, second gets fourth, third gets three, fourth gets two, fifth gets one, and then the Ben Weeder Natural Men's Bodybuilding first place will get five points, so that means that the open winner there does not automatically qualify for the Olympia, but they do get points towards the Olympia. So um, basically what this is doing is this is very easily quantifying which shows are considered to be your top shows and which shows are considered to be your, you know, opening shows. So if you maybe you're a newer pro and you want to really get, you know, your feet wet, that kind of thing, maybe strategize so that you can go into these tier four contests because you're going to see these girls who are top olympians going into your tier three tier two tier one so on and so forth now say maybe you are one of these olympia qualification type people that is close and you want to get noticed more maybe go into these tier three, tier two contests, that kind of thing. Get into these shows where they're going to carry more weight as far as the judging is concerned. They're going to carry more points, but they're also going to carry more weight in your strategy towards working your way up the Olympia ladder. Now, we used De Raja as an example of this um, just this past year. She was already qualified by winning a smaller show, a tier four contest, and then she went into Tampa, and in Tampa, she placed second next to Issa. And that really got her on the radar when it came into Olympia time and getting her into those top spots, right? Um, so this is kind of going to create more of a strategy across the board, which I think is great. I think it's awesome. Uh, I like, I actually like the tier system. This was something that was in place for all divisions just a few years ago, and people, you know, it, it just be, had to become a little bit more evolved because we added more divisions, and some of the divisions had way more shows, you know, like Bikini and Men's Physique have far more shows than you're going to have for open men's bodybuilding, that kind of thing. So for a little while, it was tr kind of trying to feel your way around and trying to figuring out, you know, which direction you want to go with these tiers and things like that, but I like that they're making this more simple where all divisions are going to qualify the same way. Uh, I think it just makes it easier to, to understand. It's not as confusing. And it also makes it a whole lot of fun to actually create a strategy around 
how you're going to plan your shows. So if I was one of these people like a Laura Lee or, you know, an Issa that just figured out that now we're qualified for the Olympia or even Angela, Angela Borg, Angela Borg just figured that out. You know, at this point I'd be like, okay, listen, I'm going to just go into off season and I'm going to come back when it's time for these tier two contests, when it's time for these tier three contests, because that's what the top Olympians, that's where they're going to get noticed. That's where they're going to get pushed up maybe in from fifth place to maybe third, you know, maybe they'll qualify again next year, that kind of thing. So, um, I think this is a really good update. I think that they considered all of the things that we were questioning in past years. And um, I think this is going to make this a really good competition uh, season for everyone. I also like that they have brought down the top five point, point earners, to the top three point earners, because I think it's just going to make this, again, the strategy so important with how you actually plan your seasons out going forward, which is so much fun. You know, one of the girls on the live stream, we were on live on Instagram where it got cut off, mentioned creating a, like, a strategy game out of this. And everybody becomes a certain pro competitor and kind of figure out where they should go and what shows they should do. I think that would be so much fun. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that into consideration. And maybe that'll be something we play at Cutie's Carp in the Stage Weekend. That could be fun. Could be fun. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this, though. Uh, this also tells us a few things. This means that we definitely have the Olympia coming up in December again this coming year. Uh, the pro schedule itself will probably come out in the next couple of weeks, uh, if I had to guess. And we'll probably hear what the actual Olympia date is going to be, I would guess, in the next couple of weeks or, or a couple of months here pretty, pretty quickly now that they've actually come out with the end date for the qualification system. And overall, I think this is a very good update. I think this, this takes a lot of things into consideration. Um, <clears throat> I like that they decided to do this and I think it's going to make this year a whole lot of fun when it comes to strategy. So, uh, like I said, unfortunately we lost that last half of that live feed where we had some questions come in and things like that. But I guess that means you're just going to have to join us live. So we do go live every weekday night at 8:15 on my Instagram, Sean's Couture. Uh, so join us there, ask your questions of us live. And if you're joining us here on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, like comment, uh, get that interaction going for us so we can keep building and creating more content for you guys and, you know, educating you and also building up the female side of the sport a little bit more. So I really have a huge uh, passion for that, as you guys know, and the more that you can help us with that, the more we're going to help each other, right? So thanks so much for joining us for the Olympia qualification points strategy standing. Wow, that's a lot of words. <laughs> it's the new uh, Olympia qualification system. There we go for 2022. It's ever evolving as this sport evolves, and as the divisions evolve. And uh, it's exciting. It's a lot of fun. So this makes me excited for 2022. And I hope it makes you excited as well. And uh, again, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you back here next time.